What a game. Absolute. Don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Battle of the Blues. And boy, did it deliver. Did it? I felt like most of the delivery was by City. So, what went down in this epic showdown? Well, buckle up because it's about to get spicy. It all started with a bang. Marcus Rashford's goal was a beauty. Unleashed a rocket from Mars. Okay? It probably caught Edison off guard. And bam, United take the lead. As soon as Phil Foden's goal went in, Eric Ten Hag's face, priceless. United's boss, Eric Ten Hag, wasn't too happy. And let's just say, he made it very clear and obvious to the referee, which ended up him getting a yellow card for his actions. Then along comes Phil Foden. He thought, well, if Rashford can do it, why can't I? There you go, another banger in the game. Phil Folden, a local lad with a knack for stealing the show. Boy, did he steal the show. Man of the match performance today from him. Honestly, man of the match. But wait, there's more. And just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier in the game, guess who? Haaland joins the party now. And what happens to the stadium when Haaland scores? Madness. Absolute madness. To be honest, Onana today, for me, kept United in the game for a very long time. Very long time. If Onana had one of his shit days or bad days, City would have got at least four or five goals today. To be honest, there is that one time where Haaland missed that sitter. Absolute sitter. The way he missed it, I was here sitting watching the game was like, literally had my mouth open for about five seconds probably had about two three flies go in and come out the other year it was that bad of a miss the stats from today's games are shocking literally just, just look at the stats like this is probably in the first 20 to 30 minutes the rest i think this is how it should have been split 90 percent of the ball was with city the rest 10 percent was probably split five percent where united had the ball the other five percent the ball boys went to fetch the ball because it just it was just out for throw-ins most of the time so did united actually have any part in this game no because look at the shots one shot and like i said if onano didn't have one of his best days today those eight shots on target it would have been 8-1 this game this game reminded me of my amateur days on fifa where this waste man would score you know 80 50 minute goal and then just pass it around between his keeper and the defenders and i'm there trying to fetch for the fucking ball that's how united were treated today united were basically amateur fifa players they were playing against KSI maybe, who City. This was a training session for City. It was basically a short and a long passing session for City because for me and for probably all the neutrals watching the game, that's how it would have felt. United need to step up big time, big, big time. United need to step up. They, If they want to live up to their name for what Man United used to stand out for, to, you know, the people that know Man United in this world, they need to step it up. And when I say step it up, it's got to go from the board to the players. Because if the board don't do something right, the players ain't going to do something right. You know, to be honest, I will say it once again since I posted my short a few months ago, right, about Mourinho to United. Ten Hag hasn't proved anything outside of Ajax, right? Ten Hag, every trophy he's won has been domestic trophies with Ajax. He's not a proven winner outside of Netherlands. And when you come to United, you need to understand this is a big club, a very, very big club. And if you're not doing the club a favour by winning games, winning trophies, then I don't know what the board are doing, you know. He needs to walk out. It's either that they're giving him the option, obviously, to stay till the end of the season. Two things United should consider. One, players need to play for the badge. Two, manager needs to either go or find a way to drill his tactics into the players. Look at Pep. Just look at Pep. Regardless of the player he subs on, the player knows how to fit into the system. No matter who he puts on, he knows how to play with the others that are already on the field. That's how every player that comes on for United should be. He should know how to adapt to the game style that's ha you know currently taking place. I'm telling you now, United at this rate won't have another league title in the next two to three years because Pep is not leaving. We have Klopp's leaving, but there are other you know teams like Arsenal and even Villa are up there. Well, ish so and tottenham as well so you know, united have a lot to, lot to do lot lot to do so there you have it folks another manchester derby another derby for the history books and enough excitement to keep us going for the next few days until next time stay frosty